Hi, um, my name is Bowling. I'm working in Southeast Asia. We operating the tour in Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Laos, Malaysia Peninsula, and we have Borneo Peninsula and Singapore and Indonesia. Thailand, you know, you you get a perfect mixture with. The culture in the north of Thailand, people know that Thai street food is the best street food in the world. And the south of Thailand, the beach is very beautiful. People talking about Koh Samui or Koh Tao, which is uh, very beautiful for snorkeling and scuba diving. You go to Cambodia, you feel Buddhist culture with with Hinduism like Angkor Wat. You know, when you see Angkor Wat in picture, it's totally different. Like it's huge. It's not one place. It's like one city. You go to Vietnam, you feel a little bit more Chinese. Very beautiful city in Hoi An. Um, you see the Lantern Town. And you go up north, um, you you visit Hanoi. Um, a lot of people love about Ha Long Bay, which is really beautiful scenery. And the nature is really beautiful. You go to Indonesia, every corner in Bali is decorated with very, very detail of the city. So it, it, you, you, it, it's like you you travel in another world for sure. But we have a key person, which is our CEO, who can make you feel like you're traveling with friends rather than they make you feel like you're traveling with like a tourist. Um, they are the, like the linkage between the travelers and the local community. You're not going to see our CEO, you know, bring the flag and walk in front of you. They mostly walk along with you. Um, during the walking, they, they you, know, you can ask them questions. So they make you feel like you, you're visiting your, your friend in other countries. Yeah, traveling in Southeast Asia is about culture. One of the things I would recommend you is open-minded and you know, enjoy the story about their culture, about their belief. It will make you understand about why they do that and why they believe that. So when you travel to Thailand, for example, you can see how people praise the royal family. You're going to see our Buddhist monk in the temple. When you're traveling to Cambodia, you see uh, Angkor Wat. That's the influence from Hinduism. And you see they have many gods and goddess. Laos, you wake up early morning. Our seal will take you to have experience with almsgiving monk. 200 Buddhist monk walk on the street with barefoot. You take the sticky rice, put on the monk bowl, and then, you know, you keep doing this until you finish with 200 monks, for example. No, I'm joking, you're not going to finish it. <laughs> Malaysia is very similar with Indonesia. They are Islamic, and our CEO can introduce you to visit the mosque. The, the culture of, of their food is also amazing. Rendang is curry, but it's less liquid. So it's like thick, thick curry. Um, so the spice that you can feel the flavor and the chicken and the beef is very soft. Um, you know, highly recommend to, to try that one. People say, come to Thailand, eat Pad Thai. I agree with that, totally agree with that. But I also want to let you try Pad Ka Prao, fried meat, uh, can be pork, can be beef with the basil leaf. You go to Cambodia, um, one of my favorite is um, Mi Katang, which is like a noodle with a little bit of gravy sauce. Can you imagine you go to Vietnam, which is original bang mi, and it costs only one and a half dollar. And, and the taste is, is really amazing. So traveling in Southeast Asia, I would highly recommend our G for Good project. For example, Udung and Noodle is the place, uh, as we call the training restaurant. So this place, they, um, you know, recruit the student who, um, can can come and train how to work as the you know tour guide our travelers can go there and learn how to make uh, the noodle which is we call mi kuang so they will teach you how to pour the flour and make a noodle with that flour and then um you you put some ingredient and put some a little bit of soup and you know you also have a chance to try that noodle as well so this project is impact to the local community because um, a lot of the students, they can practice their English with, you know, the native speaker or um, the foreigner and how they can work in tourism business. People want to speak with foreigner and they feel proud when they can communicate with you like 
when you understand them, they feel so proud. It's, it's charming to traveling in Southeast Asia. Traveling with G Adventure, uh, from my experience, is totally different. We are leading the trend of animal welfare and child welfare policy. We'll be more friendly and we, we, we do the right thing. Our CEO will change your life, I promise. You experience living like local um, and you will feel like you're traveling with friends.